but I don't keep them on the system because I found that I switch systems and muck around so much with Steam. It's easier to have them in external. So I think a lot of people do as well. Can I have four terabyte of external storage for all your games? There's a better way of doing it than having it. So you've got one terabyte NVMe in your system. That's quite, you know, you fill that up quite quickly. So, but the thing is with this, I built it in here so that it will auto detect. Here we go. It'll auto detect any drive that's attached to this that has a Steam library on it. It won't detect any other drives, but it'll check every drive that's attached, any type, and go, right, you know, you've got a Steam library, you must be attached. And I'll show you how that works. Hang on, let's just get out of this. Now, again, comes up in HDR, who knows why, but it's not going to give us issues. Display, scroll down, disable HDR. I don't have an HDR display. If you have one, you're very lucky. And this is all sorted out if you're ready. So with this, you can do what you like. So obviously with this, it's at 4K, but I might can set down to 1440p, keep saying you've got all the controls that you normally would have. All right, so let's have a look at storage on here quickly. Storage. And there it is. It's auto detected my two terabyte, four terabyte SSD that sits outside with all my games on. So I didn't need to do anything to get in. So it's just like when you boot up, it detects it and it's there. 